anyway, um, okay. So, well, this is your first time in Indonesia or yeah, it's my first this part time. of the world. Yeah, yeah, how, yeah. How, how do you feel? Then? No, it's great. Actually, it was a long trip. Uh, I've been like far west, but not far east. Okay. So, is it like your first time in Southeast Asia? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Absolutely. So, uh, the well, Jogja is like. It's it's always good to to come to this part mm. of the world. Yeah. Mm. It interests me actually the most because it's it, it's very special and uh, I think uh, culture-wise also it's mm -hmm. it's so many layers. And Have you heard about Yogyakarta before the city? Uh, yeah, in geography lessons. Ah, okay. <laughs> and while we were like studying uh, weather in Asia, mm -hmm. I remember uh, this city Jakarta okay. and Yogyakarta because we always mixed between yeah. the two names. Cool. That was a long time ago. Yeah, well, it's a totally different city. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is like your. I don't know, you've been here since. Uh, just three, three days, days ago. Three days. Okay. Three and days have ago. Have you been around or you just been just, stuck at Actually, we have a lot of work, as you see. Uh, uh, so I. Yeah. I, 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 I walk as much as I can mm. to discover. Mm. It's, it's really lovely how people are mm. simple. It's a more a village. It's more like a big village. Yeah, but it's also it has a city feeling. The motorbikes, the, yeah. <laughs> the traffic, mm. the shops, the restaurants. Mm. It's not totally village, but it's it's good. Mm. I like it. It's relaxing. And mm. The rain is amazing. So your work is the transparent existence, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's right. And it's been around, I think. Uh, I research about it. And yeah. Can you tell us more about the work? Uh, it's actually. Can I move, right? Yes, I can move. It's actually um, a site specific project that I did in Cairo mm -hmm. in late 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the first uh, well, try. Most of my work is, uh, is accumulation mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I do it differently every time. And uh, it's, I can call it uh, an on, in, in, in going, ongoing research uh, because you know sound is very sensitive medium in my opinion uh, and also light. I use light in this uh, specific project. Um, yeah, so I discover every time. Each time for me is an experiment, and uh, I, I I learn each time. What I can change, you know, it's it's I'm I'm practicing. So yeah, the project, the first try was in 2000, 2010, late 2010. Um, it was actually right before the Egyptian Revolution, uh, and um, and then uh, yeah, basically it was designed to be done in a very specific place, which is. Um, we call it Maulawiya Museum, mm -hmm. and it, it's a very special place. It's 700 years old, mm -hmm. and uh, it used to be a mosque and a school for women and children. Uh, actually, um, way back in, in the early Mamluk age, and uh, the archaeologists actually discovered an, this one. Yes, okay. maybe it's not. It doesn't show the details here mm -hmm. because it's a dark photo mm -hmm. because actually the work is usually exhibited in zero light oh, okay. but if if this space is uh, is in light you mm -hmm. see all the details of this mm -hmm. place so this shape is actually taken from the Maulawian star mm -hmm. Maulawi is uh, an adjective from Ma uh, Maula and Maula is uh, the, the, the holy king mm -hmm. you know and it, you can also call God Maula in, in Quran, like you find Maulana. It. yes, Maulana. Mm. It's coming from Maulana. It's a Sufi culture, mm. a Sufi expression. Mm -hmm. It's like the person you, who you should follow with no discussion, you know. Mm -hmm. So Maulawiya is like is the name that's coming from this, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, what what the, the idea actually came from this very interesting uh, monument of the outline. Of the fountain where you get washed as a Muslim before before you go to pray, yeah. and it has this wooden shape. Hmm? We call it wooden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and it, it, you don't see it, you just see the remaining of, of the marble that, that's there and actually half of it is missing. Uh, so the, archeo the Italian archaeologist who discovered it tried to, to imagine the rest of the star and then actually I found another complete looking uh, fountain in a different mosque in Cairo. So it's a very feature shape, this, this shape. So in my work, I, I, uh, I, I wanted to uh, imagine just the shape as an outline, uh, floating, if I can say, uh, on top of the earth, like hanging or flying. Uh, because the concept was actually about recalling spirits, recalling holy spirits. Because the Maulana. this is a Maulawi, yes. Because because in this lower level of the of the museum or is, or of the mosque or, or of the school, because it used to be the three of them, there is actually graves, uh, uh, similar tombs of the Maulawi, of the people who built built this place, and you see the you just see the structure of this. Uh, uh, and, and you imagine that there is a glowing holy people underneath. That was my idea, that was my imagination. I stayed for a while there um, and uh, I imagined the, the, how they would look like even without seeing them, just by seeing the structure of the tomb. You are pretty sure. Re -imagining that. Exactly, exactly. Okay. And what was also tricky about it that you, on top of your head there is a, a wooden uh, floor mm -hmm. for Maulawi dancers who go around like this and dance. Mm -hmm. They celebrate this until this moment. They bring uh, Sufi dancers from Istanbul and from Cairo and from different. Is it like the Darwish? Yes, is it like a Darwish? Yes, it's like that. Mm -hmm. And they do the they do perform on top of this cemetery cemetery place. So you have in, in the fountain spot, you have this contradiction between celebratory and silence of graves, and it's a mi middle area between two con contradictions that mm. is actually the ingredients of life, you know. Mm -hmm. Islands and yeah, yeah, sound. yeah, and yeah. So yeah, these these parameters, these conditions, give me the idea of the work. It's just, just to make something uh, visually to represent the the presence hmm. or the or the existence of certain spirit. That's why it's quite like a like a oxymoron or a paradoxical title yeah transparent and but it exists yeah yeah exactly yeah it's, it's about that it's about mm. spiritual representing mm. or representation um, so yeah that was actually this is the fountain part and it, it, it's it's um, there is a handmade embroidery that if I can call it embroidery of El Zenon LED slide mm -hmm. it's a sort of light that give you the feeling of pureness, mm -hmm. you know. It's like, um, it can be the closest image of, of uh, our imagining of prophets or, or maula, uh, maula or something like that. It's pure and it's glowing like that. So I, I did this sort of embroidery on the shape of the, that you see outside mm -hmm. uh, and I program it uh, to work with certain uh, sounds, mm -hmm. That's the sound part of the work is uh, actually back in the back in the installation in Cairo it was 16 channel, mm -hmm. and uh, here I'm using only six because the space is different. It's the whole condition is different, and this is another issue. Um, uh, yeah, and I, I made like a field recordings and like sort of acoustic research of the ambient of this mm -hmm. mosque in each corner and in different times of the day uh, plus using some special recordings from Sufi uh, poem performed by a Moroccan uh, singer okay. uh, and mix them together to work in different sound channels mm -hmm. and to, uh, to um, trigger this, this lights mm -hmm. in certain sentences mm -hmm. and cer certain sounds mm -hmm. so you got this ghosty feeling you know that something is 
is calling something and, so, and sometimes it's not. Mm. And um, I, I, uh, the challenge of taking this work, and for me it's a challenge to take this work and exhibit it outside. isolated. Oh. Not just outside, it's okay. isolated from its own conditions. Okay. You know, away from the simmer, the graves and the tombs and away from the mosque and away. Because this is already an amazing place, mm -hmm. even without the work. Mm -hmm. I was trying to highlight something that mm -hmm. was already exists mm -hmm. in this place that I got feeling about. Mm -hmm. But here it's just a room, mm -hmm. you know. Well, it's, it has a very specific look and measurements. Mm -hmm. Uh, but still, it's just a wooden room. Uh, uh, but I will try to, to give you, you know, by just using the sentence. I will try to, to give you, you know, a certain preparation mm -hmm. that you are going into a different zone, you yes. know. Like, this is a this is ground. very short uh, uh, distance, but it tells you that you, you should be prepared yeah. for something. I was, I was kind of wondering about, about the shape because then I thought it would look a bit like a kaaba. Yeah, but then, yeah. But then also like this entrance, it makes it look like an igloo or you know, like an igloo, the, yeah, yeah. the, the, the Eskimo house. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I was wondering. Or, or, or like a grave. Yeah, or like a catacomb. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm trying, well there is a, uh, what is it called? like? Uh, Emotional connections mm -hmm. we have between certain geome uh, geometric shapes mm -hmm. and uh, scales, yeah. and this I'm trying to do here. But it's more challenging to me to exhibit the work away from its own uh, from its, conditions, uh, original, yeah, scientific yeah. Uh, uh, location, yeah, environment. So. Yes. So yeah, uh, hopefully it will work. And here, actually, in the in Cairo, and back in Cairo, it was on the floor, mm -hmm. and people go around it like that. Mm -hmm. But here, it will be coming from the ceiling, which is different. The sorry, what will come from the ceiling? The, the star will be hanging. Ah, okay. In the image you have, you are in a large place, and you go around it. But here, it will be coming from up. Okay. All right. And as you see. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Yeah. I know. As you see, the acoustic inside uh -huh. is also important. This is also put in consideration the number of the speakers and the scale of the speakers and the nature of the sound of the speakers. So, very big part of, mm -hmm. of the work. Mm -hmm. So, we, we hopefully tomorrow this will be done with coloring and mm -hmm. then we'll do sound check. Now we are trying to program the, the lights, mm -hmm. so, yeah. It really, uh, well, we look forward to entering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have very small time and hopefully, mm -hmm. it's so many details. Well, and here in, usually in Jogja, uh, we kind of do it in a express way, and yeah. like a really, really close. Yeah, yeah, in the but last moment. usually everything, yeah, that's what I hope. I mean, that's what I hope. I, I, I brought everything with me and it's your turn. <laughs> is it the first time the work is exhibited outside? I mean, like, a, like it's transported to another space? No, actually it was also a similar, mm -hmm. similar piece was done in uh, Spain, mm -hmm. Spain. But it was, yeah, but it was different. The shape was a little bit different, but mm -hmm. inspired from the shape. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Number two, it was already also in an old church. Okay. So it was not like uh, neutral like here. Okay. Here it's neutral, it's yeah. abstract, yeah. so it's different. But I used the same setup okay. in, in an experiment in Spain. So in Spain, it, you also use like a historic space. Yeah. yeah. So you respond to yeah. it. And, yeah, and religious. Religious space. Yeah. So this is like the it's the first time that it's built inside. In, in, in a gallery. In a gallery. Okay. So you kinda reinterpret the yeah, yeah. Okay, the structure and yeah. the, the meaning as well. Yeah, yeah. And the sound. And the sound. Yeah. We I merged some channels mm -hmm. and I took some channels out because 
it makes sense in that like, mm. in the other place mm. to have certain ambient sounds mm. that is related to the architecture mm. but here it would be really weird or mm. strange it doesn't belong to the material mm. of the place okay. you know and okay and what do you think about how how do you have you been corresponding to uh, Agum so far and then how do you see uh, the curatorial or the how do you respond to the yeah, about the territorial, about mobility, and I don't know how, how far have you talked yeah. to him, but yeah, then yeah, you, yeah. Can, you can share us your thought about yeah. how do you feel about yeah. joining the band. I think, I think, I mean, I think it's a, um, it's a great effort mm -hmm. people do here, mm -hmm. honestly. They do a great effort to mm. do something that is internationally representative. Mm. Uh, and uh, even if the place is quite far from, mm -hmm. you know, the market mm -hmm. center, but I think um, there is a more focus on the Asian market mm -hmm. and, you know, not, not just the market, I mean, mm. the cultural movement mm -hmm. in general. And uh, I think. I think um, uh, it's, it, it's great, uh, promising. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that with time, this will be developing a lot. And uh, the number of the artists mm -hmm. and the venues and how, I think, it, mm -hmm. I, think uh, I, I mean, I never attended Binali in this region before, okay. and I don't know how big I cannot imagine how big it will be, mm -hmm. or the traffic. I was just speaking to, mm -hmm. to a friend of mine, uh, how much traffic an exhibition like that mm -hmm. can can have. But I hope I hope you, you you got enough traffic and enough success because I think there is a lot of stress uh, on the people who's mm -hmm. working and there is big effort behind mm -hmm. it. And I think the budget also is. Yeah, it's always is, is small a classic story. Comparing, mm -hmm. comparing to the big binales that yeah. I, I mean, it could be big mm. in, in general, but mm. comparing to other binales that mm. is am ambitious. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still small, mm. you know. So uh, and the time is also small. Mm. And uh, I think, I think, uh, I, I, I think, and I hope everything will come out as we want to, yes. not just in this work, I mean, the whole, the whole, the whole thing. Yeah. There is a very strong. Uh, I think maybe you already uh, you already know or you already learned uh, much about Indonesia and also like uh, Yogyakarta is also one of the actually the central cities. Uh, like it's, it's in Java, the main island uh, of Indonesia. Like Indonesia has the the biggest Muslim population yeah. in the world. Yeah. And like your work also offers some kind of a, like a. Reinterpret reinterpretation of uh, spirit Muslim spirituality, I guess if I'm mistaken. Yes. And how do you uh, how do you expect like such work like yours, like this one, to be accepted in let's say the Indonesian audience? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, especially since uh, like we have talked about uh, that it's being placed in a neutral zone, you know, like uh, yeah. secularizing it, like. Trying to get another, like a more, let's say, secular meaning mm -hmm. of the of the elements like, like Sufism mm -hmm. or, or the, the subtext or the religious yeah. subtext. Yeah. 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 Well, 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 I mean, I don't think if people don't know what's behind this project in terms of concept, I don't think. Um, they will, I mean, most of them, I don't think they will think it's Islamic identified. Mm -hmm. Maybe this shape that is a little bit like Kaaba, yeah. but I don't think, well, it, it can trigger something in the very, very, very big ground, background mm -hmm. of the mind, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be this. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm leaning on the spirituality, the spiritual part of religion, mm -hmm. rather than the religion mm -hmm itself even uh, the there is no I mean it's something in the air but you, there is no uh, and I, I, this is something that I got also from exhibiting in Spain and it was a church and people are 
Christians, most of them, or non-religious at, at all, but they start to feel something related to yoga or something that it's calling something that already built in any human. Okay. Uh, so I don't think uh, I'm targeting this Islamic mm. dimension, but I'm targeting a sort of hum humanitarian layer mm. that actually exists more in religious countries. So it's abstraction of practicing religion. And uh, this is this is my this, this is my hope. Yeah. So it's uh, especially with contemporary art that it allows more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and in sound, in sound, it's very precious that you don't have most likely you don't you don't have a framed message or clear. It's very abstract language of art, mm -hmm. and it it's really easy to absorb, you know, by anyone, you know, because of music, because of many things. And I think it's very relevant also to the vision of the Biennale as well, as like yeah. trying to bring, yeah. the like how contemporary art can bring these meanings or uh, that uh, iconographies or visual elements that usually symbolize things that relate to identity politics and yeah. things, yeah. that we can create more openness to reinterpret and reimagine yeah. yeah, that's why actually I I chose in this piece especially because it's actually it's not the easiest piece I can exhibit. It's one of the hardest pieces regarding the distance between the two countries and the shipping and the technology risk and everything, the time and the money and but I think it's it's there. It's 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 yeah, yeah. It's the right one for this condition. Okay, last question. As how, um, as a, also in relation to your position as a contemporary artist, and also how contemporary art tries to speak about what's happening, let's say, in the world today, or probably in each, everyone's situation or, or the artist situation. How do you respond, or how do you, what do you think? Of, can, can you share us your thoughts about what's happening in Egypt and? Politically, you mean? Politically, or how do you see it as an artist, and how contemporary art can bring or can uh, play a role in that kind yeah, of situation? Yeah. Well, uh, well, I, 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 I see the revolution uh, not from an outsider uh, eye. I. I don't know, fortunately or unfortunately, I was really involved yes. in this, me and some other artists. It's okay. Uh, so I, I, if I speak, I will not speak as an artist. I'll speak as a, one of the people who really, and maybe this is not, this will not be uh, neutral, or because, and also there is so much, you know. Drama happened, yeah. so I, I for and me, media exposure. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and also on, 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 on the ground, on the ground, you know, I, I have seen a lot of uh, details, and you know, I have, I can write diaries about it. But I mean, I think it might be too early mm -hmm. to judge what even still now after two years, I think it's too early to make statement about the revolution or to say uh, it's actually blah 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 it's i don't think i don't think it's cooked yet it's it's still ongoing and yeah it's still there and it, very unexpected things happening every day actually uh, and uh, it's too difficult to to make a decision mm -hmm. or to judge whether it's going to the right mm. direction or the wrong direction. Mm. Well, it's not black and white, but I think there is a movement happening, and yeah. this is for me is positive. Mm. Even if it's in the wrong direction for a while, mm. but at least it's not static as it was before. And uh, I think I'm, I'm still opt optimistic about it. And I think from my perspective, it, it's not just too early. It, it's a lot bigger than art, you know. I, 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 I would 
it would take me years to to think to, of something that can relate mm -hmm. or correspond to, about the revolution and you know I think it could be a bit kitschy to think about it now I, I don't know maybe yeah. some people but I think it's way much deeper mm. than making art exactly. well I think everyone in the world is uh, I mean, like galleries or art collectors would be happy to have a piece about the revolution but it's not like it's not that I think if any if I produce something about my understanding mm. of the situation in Egypt and the revolution of 2011 three years later would be funny it would be yeah. naive mm. uh, maybe next year not, not three years later yeah so. because it's like it's like you eat half-cooked food you know just because you're hungry yeah. it's not like that I mean it's something that we should wait and we as Egyptians should wait and should uh, think about it and 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 learn mm. learn every day but not to just digest exactly. uh, or pretend that we digested lessons so quickly I don't think so mm. that's my opinion